Hi, and today I'm going to show you how you can connect the Simple Numbers application with your Xero data. So to start off, what you'll want to do is sign up for a Simple Numbers account, which you can do on the Simple Numbers homepage and under New Subscribers, entering your email address. You'll click Sign Up and you'll get a confirmation email sent to your email address which I'll open up and click on the link below here to complete my registration. Once I've clicked on that link I get this page here so I'll fill out the sign up form I'll create a password for my account Then once I click connect to zero, I'll have to accept these terms of use first. And then I'll connect to zero. So this will bring me to the zero login page for which I'll enter my zero login email and then my zero password. And then I'll see the company which I have available to me in Xero in this drop down here, which I'll select and which I'll authorize. And now what I'll see is that my data is importing from zeros into simple numbers. And what I'll go ahead and do is start my free trial to simple numbers. So I'll click on that. And now what I'm going to do is set up the configuration of simple numbers. So to do this, I'm going to match these accounting codes on the left with their corresponding buckets on the right. And what I can do here to make things simple is if all my expense accounting codes, for example, fall under a specific bucket on the right, I can just click expense and dump those all into a specific bucket such as revenue. Or what I can do is specify which codes go into a specific bucket just by selecting them on the left here. So I'll put these codes into a specific bucket on the right. And I selected those codes for profit and loss. I'll do that for balance sheet as well. Put these accounting codes in their corresponding buckets on the right. And after I've done that, put those accounting codes in their corresponding buckets, I'll go to settings. And here is where I can configure my goals a little bit. So depending on what my goals are, these are going to differ per person. So I can adjust my profitability, for example. I can adjust my operating expenses. I can adjust how much revenue um, I would want to indicate in here. And there are other factors which I can adjust as well in this settings section. So after I've done that, I see this confirmation message at the top. I'll click on overview. And what I'm going to see under overview is my performance. So I see those indicators here. And what I can also do at the top here is based on the data that has been imported from zero into simple numbers, I can get a bunch of reports up here and get a more detailed estimate of how I'm doing based on the goals that I've selected. So that is an overview of how to connect your zero data with simple numbers and how to set up simple numbers to reflect your personal goals. Thank you very much for tuning in and have a great rest of your day.